Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, if you're first time joining us uh, for, uh, for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. My channel is unlike any other channel. Uh, so we are going to take a look at the Flare 58 this morning. So this is not a review. I'm just going to show you guys uh, step by step how I use it. Uh, actually, I just got this yesterday. So we did an unboxing video on Instagram yesterday morning. And if you guys are curious about it, make sure to check it out. And what else? Uh, again, uh, I'm going to big shout out to Andrew at Flare. I'm, okay, so by the way, the, the Flare came out last spring. I think last spring. And I know a lot of, you guys seen a lot of reviews already. And, but not from this. So my point of view is because uh, my channel is pretty much all about like Bravo, Brista Express and Pro. So their point of view. Hold on one second. I'm going to. I got a, there you go. Okay. So my point of view is uh, the end user from Bravo Brista Pro Express. Okay. And uh, I'm trying to look at, uh, is that worth upgrading from Bravo machines? I know some of you already have nicer machines. Okay. Which means you may have like Bianca or some kind of durable machine or E61 group like Rocket or Primento, all those machines. But if you want to upgrade your Bravo Brista Pro or Express, you have a lot more options now. Okay, not only, we are going to get into it, uh, Flare 50 in about a few minutes, but you have like, goodness, E61 group machine, tons out there. And also we got like Renturia Servia for good entry level machine as well from up from Bravo Brista Express comes to if you want to have good espresso okay Serbia is great durable it's fantastic uh, Gaza Classic Pro that's different okay I, I feel like Gaza Classic Pro and Brista Express I feel like we are comparing apple to orange there it's not you know similar but it's not the same machine and what else uh, let's see I think comes to 58 because I do have flare a Nia okay Flare Neo at my shop uh, comes. To, I mean, great machine, entry level machine is about hundred bucks. Okay, and the workflow is you know a little challenging for most people. It's not easy. Let's put it that way. Okay, it's not easy because, but with Flare Fifty Eight, I mean, if you are used to making espresso from uh, Bravo Barista Pro Express, only thing you're gonna add the workflow is just the hot water. Okay, I'm just gonna start my hot water here. Just the hot water, that's it. So, you know what? Let's jump into it, okay? I'm going to, uh, we're gonna jump into it. I'm gonna give you guys the first look of Flare 58. As you can see, if you haven't seen it, this is a leveler machine, okay? So you got big level. That's pretty long, pretty long there. Just like so. Just better fit into my screen there. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay back, just like so. Okay, uh, comes with a 50, uh, the, the reason why they're called 50A because they're 58 millimeter. Okay, they're 58 millimeter uh, filter baskets. And comes with obviously 58 millimeter photo filter and shower screen as well. So here's what I did. First thing I done was I replaced the baskets. So this is a 58 millimeter IMS basket instead of stock. Okay. The reason why, I, I mean, I, I, I prefer the IMS over stock baskets. As you can see, it's called low flow. So this one you can use what, between 14 and 16, 17 gram, depending on the grinder size. Uh, I prefer the IMS. This is more like 18 to 20 gram. So I like to provide 18 gram on these baskets here. Obviously, screen, it's going to be keep the, your shower screen nice and clean. I'm just going to lock it in. I'm going to warm it up here. And comes with a heating element. So this can be a game changer. Because of one thing, Bravo Brista Pro, okay, I have Pro here, cannot do is you can warm up the pore filter. It never gets hot, okay? Using the thermal block, uh, thermal jet. Okay, not blood. 
uh, Bravo Barista Express has thermal block, so you can warm up your Polar filter, but not with the Pro. With Flyer 58, man, I set a medium high as temperature. They're so hot, I cannot touch it. Okay, it's been on for the last, what, five minutes? That's it. And what else? It comes with a drip tray, the rubberized. Uh, if you want to put scale in it, the only scale I can, okay, G dealer scale, it's not going to fit. I know most, have, uh, most of you have this for drip tray, but you can remove it. Fits perfectly, all right? So if you want to, if you, you want to use, use a drip tray, obviously you want to use the Akaya scale. Plus Akaya scale is water resistant as well. So you want something like this. All right. Uh, let's see here. By the way, if you are thinking about getting one of these, make sure to watch their video. How to. So this is, a, I believe, version two or three. It's not an a original model. So they have a different design with a different hook there. So they're permanently locked in, okay? Not permanently, but you know, you have a, the, this little notch there, you can remove it. You can remove the uh, a cylinder, but yeah. And everything's on lock in nicely. And also little screws as well. So everything's on nice and tight. <clears throat> uh, pretty much it, guys. Uh, comes to beer quality is uh, pretty nice, okay? Pretty solid. Base is solid. So, you know what? How about, uh, how about let's make some coffee, okay? Let's make some coffee here this morning. The water is boiling. Yep. Water is boiling. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be using the, the built-in grinder. I'm just going to use a rubber built-in grinder. And... So this is the same grinder setting as yesterday morning and number four. So I'm not changing anything. <clears throat> I already dosed out the 18 gram. So let's make some coffee, guys. Yeah, I'm just going to use the same grinder setting for my Brista Express uh, Pro. Right. Uh, comes to workflow. I mean, there. I mean, it's pretty much the same as Express, except the uh, hot water. Okay, the hot water part. I mean, there's something you have to, you know, boil it. But other than that, overall workflows are pretty much the same as Express. So I don't know why I'm get the coffee grind here. I'm just going to use my uh, temping station. Yeah. Okay. Again, just nice. You know what? It's nice and it's not hot like my Bianca, but still warming up. Uh, Flare give you dosing ring. I'm not a big fan of that, so I'm just going to use my own, the metal one. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of WDT. Okay, just like so. Again, I mean, it comes to workflow, there's no different. Okay. No different from my Express. Just going to go quick distribution. So this uh, is the, the flare uh, temper as well. You know, small. But get a job done. I mean, if you if you guys are serious about making espresso, you know what? Get the the real temper. Okay. So this one, yeah, it does fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'm gonna put the shower screen on the top, tuck screen. Okay. I'm just gonna lock it in. So let's do one to two ratio. I'm gonna do one to two ratio. 
think, you know, hold on a second. I'm just going to... So I'm going to start time when first drop happens. Okay. At this point, I'm going to lower my level. Hold on. Okay. And then I'm going to, I'm going to add the hot water. I hear the sizzling sound of water. I'm just going to lift it. I think I'm going to top it up. Okay, I'm going to top up the water. I'm just going to top it a little more. Okay. There we go. And then I'm just going to give you a little pressure, okay? I hope you guys can see the pressure bar there. I'm trying to look for the nine bar, okay? Nine bar. I'm going to start with maybe a copper bar for pre-infusion. You see the drops? I'm just going to press. Man, that looks really nice. Hope you guys can see it. Nice, I'm going to shoot for about 40 gram. 40 grams. There we go. Once you hit 40 gram, I'm just going to lift it. Okay. Lift it. I'm going to switch back. I'm just going to purge the rest of the water. Just purge it. That's it. Comes to workflow, it's pretty nice. Man, look at this wonderful shot of espresso, guys. Goodness. Full of crema. Man. Oops. Uh, let's take a look at the puck. Okay. Here. Nice and dry. I'm just going to wash it with my hot water from my Bravo Brista Pro. Again, uh, the puck is nice and dry, Work, works pretty good. I'm just going to toss it on my, and just, you know, ready for next shot. Uh, you know, let's give it a try. Okay, let's Give it a try, the, the shot of espresso. Is there any difference in <clears throat> flavor, okay, the taste? Hold on one second. Get a proper spoon. Here we go. I like the temperature as well. It's nice and, you know, hot. Cheers. It's fine. Fine espresso. Man. It's not bad. Um, as you saw, it comes to workflow wise, it's nice and smooth. I mean, you don't have to do a lot of cleanup either. Just clean up with your tower, just clean up your shower screen on the bottom here, the plunge. There's nothing there because uh, we are using the puck screen. So again, so we are using a uh, medium heat right now, the two dots. If you, know, if you are using lighter roast, I'll go all the way to, you know, on the top there. But if you don't do like, so this is more like medium to dark. I think I go with, yeah, like two dots, okay, medium to dark. But overall workflow, I mean, this, uh, this group has really, really hot as well. Okay, so second beep sound means you reach the temperature. So it's gonna be hold the temperature. So, uh, by the way, if you have Flare 58 at home, uh, let me know, okay, love to hear your thoughts on it. Love to hear your comments. But, I mean, I'm, uh, so this is my second time pulling the shot. That's the second time ever on Flare. Uh, I mean, if you are used to making coffee from your Express or Pro, 
uh, it comes to learning curves on Flare is uh, next to nothing, okay? Pretty much the same process. The, except the uh, pour some hot water. That's it. So anyway, so meantime, I'm gonna take a look at your comments. Shout out to Jonathan there. We got Yoda's on. The Drachman Lower. You got the, you got Mango. You got Mago? I'm not sure. You got Link is on as well. You got Jim, Youngma from Cal uh, uh, New York City. I think uh, Youngma from New Jersey, I think. You got Christian. Uh, comes to price wise, or uh, last time I checked on their website, uh, what, five, what, 575? Okay, 575 bucks. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, uh, next couple of days, I'm gonna be compare that with, uh, compare workflow with Bravo Barista Pro. Okay, and uh, let, let's do some comparison as well. Yeah, it should be fun to play uh, some kind of comparison with the Pro. Because I know, uh, if you have Bravo owners out there, should I upgrade my coffee machines or should I upgrade my grinder first? My recommendation is uh, up, upgrade the grinder first. Okay. Update, uh, upgrade your grinder first. Because most machine you're gonna buy in future, it does not come with a built-in grinder. So grind, the good grinder is a lot cheaper than buying a new machine. So start with the grinder because the grinder makes big difference in the quality. And, but if you don't care about but if you want to add something to your Express or Pro, uh, hopefully check out, you know, hopefully, you know, uh, follow along, along with my video for the next few days and to see for yourself on live streaming if this is something you are interested in. That's another reason I don't do a lot of review on my channel because, because sometimes it can be biased. Okay? I know a lot of YouTubers out there, the product review, you know, because, because I want you to see for yourself, okay? I want you to see for yourself comes to my, the workflow. That's, uh, that's, that, that's the reason I don't do, you know, edited video either. Because one of you making edited video, you can hide a lot of things. But with the live streaming, the live stream quality is not as good as an edited video. But you, you, you are going to see everything. I mean, this is a big purchase, guys, okay? 575 bucks is not cheap, okay? I mean, the fact is if you're spending a couple thousand dollars on coffee machine, you know what, I wanna see it, you know? I, I, mean, I, don't, I mean, I don't wanna see the, I mean, I wanna see the flaws on the machine, also I wanna see the, what's good and what's bad about it. But nothing like you, you're going to see for yourself, so. Again, I know people ask me, who, when are you gonna upgrade your quality of video? Uh, Someday, you know what, I mean, I have a plan, okay, not, not from my kitchen. So, so this is my house, okay, this is my home kitchen, so adding separate uh, camera for different angles, it's not going to happen, okay, it's, my wife is not going to allow that happen in my, so th this, is my, this is my space right here, this is my space, okay, my wife has all that space on the back, so anyway. Uh, hold on, I'm going to check for one last time. Hold on. Okay, so, man, okay, so again, the, so actually both machines, okay, portable, all right? What if I go on vacation, I always take my Pro or Express, one or the other. So this, so this is also portable as well, so you can take anywhere, all right? Okay, got Jonathan. Okay, so got the Yosh, Yoship. Say hello and welcome back there. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go uh, jump into Instagram Live. Uh, let's put another shot, okay? I'm gonna do another shot with uh, Instagram Live, friends over there, because not everybody use both platform. I know some of you do, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday morning. Uh, if you have, again, if you have a Flare 58 at home, I love to hear. Uh, I love to hear your thoughts on it. Okay, love to hear your thoughts. All right, see you next time.